Joanne Chesmard earned a dubious place in history. She's the first woman to make it onto the FBI's most wanted terrorist list for killing a New Jersey state trooper in 1973. Today, on the 40th anniversary of Trooper Warner Foster's death, we stand together with the New Jersey State Police to reaffirm our commitment to the capture of Joanne Chesmard. The men and women of the FBI will continue to do all that we can to make sure she is brought to justice. Chesimard escaped jail and fled to Cuba in 1979 following her conviction for murder. The trooper died in a gun battle when he stopped a car carrying Chesimard for a vehicle violation. While living openly and freely in Cuba, she continues to maintain and promote her terrorist ideology. She provides anti-U.S. government speeches espousing the Black Liberation Army message of revolution and terrorism. U.S. authorities have also doubled the reward for her capture to $2 million in the hope of fueling wider enthusiasm for her return to the U.S.